welcome to Family and the Beast channel. My name is Janet and this is Chloe Lingan. <laughs> Chloe is our taste tester. Remember all the ingredients and measurements that will be listed down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi guys, in today's video we will be making some delicious chicken kebab. Be sure to check out all the ingredients and measurements below this video in the description box. Now here is the first step. So guys, the first step is once you have your chicken all washed and cut up into small pieces, like so, I'm using some thai, some chicken thai. Um, you can use any part of the chicken. I, for, for some reason, I feel like the chicken thai is the best for this recipe. So I wash my chicken and I cut it up into small pieces, like, you know, a little bit bigger than bite size actually. And I'm gonna add in my dry ingredients to this. In my plate here, I have some chicken bouillon, garlic salt, some complete seasoning, paprika, black pepper, and some chief all-purpose seasoning. I'm going to add that in. And over here, I have some green seasoning. I'm not gonna go too much on the green seasoning. I'm just using like two tablespoons here. And in this container, I have some better than bouillon um, paste. This is the brand I'm using. I got this one here from Costco, so you can grab yourself a bottle if you like. Um, now I'm gonna mix this here and make sure that everything is combined. Now that that is coated, I'm going to go in with a little bit of olive oil here, about two tablespoons or so. So now that you're done season your chicken, you're going to cover this and allow it to marinate for about four hours or so. I like to leave this in the fridge and allow it to marinate for about four hours. So while my chicken is marinating, I went ahead and cut up some veggies here. I have some red and green bell pepper and I also have some onions. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of dry ingredients to my um, veggie here. I have some black pepper, garlic salt, and some complete seasoning. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle this over here and I'm gonna go in with about a tablespoon of oil again. And we're just gonna mix to make sure that the season is coated evenly on the veggie. And adding the oil will help you um, coat it evenly on top and stick to the veggie. So now I'm gonna place this on the side. Now I have here some skewer, some wood skewer that I'm keeping wet for the skewer not to burn when it's baking in the oven. So you wanna make sure you keep it wet. Now I'm gonna place my skewer on the side here and I'll bring my chicken and my veggie close up to me. Now you wanna go ahead and start by putting a piece of the chicken in the skewer here. I'll put in a piece of onion. You just wanna rotate the color so that it looks pretty, you know? So I like to fill my skewer up about three quarter or so. I'm gonna keep on filling these up. I just wanna keep the pattern I'm doing here. And here I have my first one all filled. I'm just gonna rest it here on my tray for now until I'm finished filling up the rest of the skewers. Now I'm gonna continue doing this and I will come back when I'm ready to put them in the oven and when I'm ready to make that basting sauce. So guys, to make your basting sauce, I'm going to add in some barbecue sauce first to my saucepan here. And this is the brand I'm using. I got this one from Costco. You can use any brand of your choice. And here I have some Japanese barbecue sauce as well. This is one of my absolute favorite barbecue sauce. I really, really love it. it has a nice spiciness to it. Blends out really, really well. So combine with the other barbecue sauce this one here is a little bit more on the sweeter side and this one here is not so sweet but has that little spiciness to it so combine the two together gives you the best result those two I got from Costco here I'm gonna go in with just a tablespoon of um, sweet soy sauce and this is my favorite brand of soy sauce as well and to that I'll go in with a uh, tablespoon of brown sugar and I'm gonna also go in with a little bit of honey and I have here some scotch bonnet hot sauce you can use as much or as little you like and you just want to mix this to make sure that all the ingredients are combined and you can give it a taste right now to see if you have enough salt if you have enough sweetness if you want it a little bit sweeter you can go ahead and add in a little bit more brown sugar or you can add in um, some more of the barbecue sauce providing that the one that you're using 
is a nice sweet version. And I will also be going in with some oyster sauce. And we're gonna mix this to make sure that all the ingredients are combined. And we'll just place this on the side. You don't need to cook this on the stove. There's no water in here, or no, neither any raw meat or seasoning. So we're just gonna place this on the side. We are going to wait until our time comes to baste the chicken. So guys, after 30 minutes, we're checking on our chicken now and they are looking absolutely delicious and they smell so so good they look and smell absolutely delicious guys i can't wait for these to finish so we're gonna baste these with some of the sauce we have here now you want to flip them on the other side here and you're gonna baste them again on this side so just keep flipping them making sure that they are coated on all sides before you put them back in the oven and this time when we put them back in the oven we are not going to cover them we're just going to allow them to bake uncovered now i am going to put these back in the oven and allow them to bake this time for about 35 minutes to 40 minutes more now if you have any extra sauce you can just leave it on the side when your chicken is done you can baste it again with a little bit of the sauce to give it that juiciness so i'm gonna just place this on the side and we'll wait on the chicken to finish so guys after 35 minutes i pull these out of the oven and this is how they are looking i'm gonna go in back with some of my basting sauce and at the same time i'm gonna lift these off the rack here and i want to pull this out a little bit here now the reason for that i like to while i put a little bit of the basin sauce i like to pick up some of this on the bottom here and brush it as well and i'm just gonna place this one now here on the side just mix it in with the other sauce and just baste that chicken really nice you want every bite to be really nice and juicy now here is the end result of our kebab we hope you enjoy this recipe and give it a try